Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the one, the only AMD Advanced Micro Devices. We're going to be talking about what on earth is going on with the stock. And guys, it fell a whopping 9% in a single day. So obviously something major is going on inside the company. And we're going to be looking at what's going on and answering these questions of should you buy AMD stock. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And if you get anything in you hit that like button subscribe because it really really helps me out when you guys do that join the team let's go so let's dive in. all right so for those of you that don't know what AMD is AMD is also known as advanced micro devices this company is pretty much known for their investments into AI into graphics cards and chips no, not potato chips, but actually computer chips. Now, this is what actually powers and operates your computer. And I think we all know the rise of computers and software and AI that this stock has squeezed up. We've seen some crazy, crazy returns with AMD, but today it fell 9%. Now, why? You may be asking, Carter, why did it fall? Well, they released an earnings report. This is when the company comes out and they give you all of the details of everything going on inside the company. And you may have guessed it, they beat their earnings. No, they beat their earnings. Yes, they really did, which is crazy because normally anytime you have a beat earnings, the stock actually goes up. But in this case, we saw sell off. And the reason why is because yes, they did beat their earnings both on their revenue and the earnings per share. But really what they saw is a 64% drop in their chips. Now, this pretty much what I think is kind of going on. One, AMD has been focusing and investing billions of dollars into AI. We all saw the rise of ChatGBT being the fastest online community to hit 100 million users. AMD just wants to take a little bit of that pie. They want to get a little bit in on that artificial intelligence. And I just think that's kind of what we're seeing. Now with interest rates being this high, I wouldn't be surprised of that being one of the reasons why we saw a major drop in chips. Now because everybody that wanted to buy a computer are holding off just due to rates being expensive. Now, yes, I know you're not supposed to finance a computer, but most people do. Most people want that upgrade and are willing to pay for an upgrade and just finance it and not have to worry about it. But with the rates and the uncertainty of the market and just the general state of the economy, people are less likely to make a major purchase right now. And I just think that's one of the main reasons why we're seeing AMD have a little slower quarter. But should you buy AMD? This is one of the most common questions I'll get asked. Carter, should you buy, should I buy, should he buy AMD stock? Well, here's my mindset. AMD is highly invested into software, chips, graphics cards, and open AI, software, all different types of stuff. So they're heavily invested into that, which is great because I definitely think that's gonna be the next top growing sector probably of the next five years, really. And looking at some of these fundamentals, we're seeing increasing revenue. We're seeing the company just becoming profitable. Yes, we're seeing volatility among a couple of the fundamentals, but I think looking back you know, two to five years, we're gonna be wishing we would have bought AMD at these current prices. This is a fantastic pick. Yeah, it's a growth stock. So this thing is gonna go up and down and up and down at rapid rates. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing falls another 10%, but squeezes back up 20 percent it's a growth stock this stuff happens look at companies like apple which is one of the most popular and sought after investments do you think that stock just always goes up absolutely not you know during apple's heyday where they were having historical runs this stock would squeeze up 20 percent and go down 10 percent so amd yes we're seeing volatility yes we're seeing you know people saying to sell Yes, we're seeing all this, but I, I, I really think right now we're just seeing a general shift in the economy. People are holding off on doing those major purchases due to these rates being high. So I always think right now for me, as we see stocks like this sell off and that are actually performing well on the revenue and the earnings per share, I think, I think this just represents a great opportunity to buy at a very, very affordable price. You never want to buy when the stock's at an all-time high. You want to buy when this thing's at down. 10%. It's the best time. And with that being said, I think another good strategy, dollar cost average and keep it under, you know, probably about three to 4% of your portfolio. 
the reason why is you one you always can invest more two you're not heavily invested so if this thing goes to zero you're only out three to four percent so guys obviously this is all just my opinion and do your own research before you invest this is just kind of my strategy so guys hope you guys enjoyed it fun video exciting video we'll see you guys later take care